Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge, and I just want to give you a little update with what we've been using on my boat to catch these finicky bluefin. Every year, it seems like we get a different grade of fish. They're more keyed in on this, they're into eating that, whatever. So we've been experimenting a ton, we've been fishing a ton, and this is sort of my go-to so far this season. Um, the biggest surprise for me has been this guy, the Go Mommy Jig. And this is from Williamson. It's made by our friends at Rapala. This jig has got kind of a pre-bend in it. It fishes really, really well. And for whatever reason, they really seem to enjoy this over just a, a traditional, you know, straight metal lure. The other thing that I love about this is it comes with a quality VMC hook right out of the package and a nice beefy split ring. With all the other jigs, we we're always upgrading the hook, upgrading the ring. With these, we're just fishing them right out of the package. If you want to, you can always upgrade also to a VMC single hook instead of the treble. It's going to get you more fish to the boat, but you're not going to hook as many fish. And occasionally we do snag fish and we land them with the treble hook. But the Go Mame has been a great jig, 80 gram on these. Um, I can even throw it on my jig stick. It's heavy enough so I can use the conventional gear and be ready for some of those surprise bites. We've been catching fish up to like 100, 120 pounds on these little guys. Um, the other jig that they have is the Gomoku jig. This one I really dig a lot for the color pattern and the small size. This is a 60 gram jig, so it is pretty small. It, mimic, it mimics those little tiny anchovies that these fish are eating. These anchovy right now are so small, they kind of look like a Q-tip if you cut the back half of it off. This lure, as you can see, super low profile, got the green color, kind of mimics them. This is getting bit for us as well. In the 60 gram, you usually have to go down to a spinning rod or like a heavy bass rod setup to get bit on this. And if you get bit by a big fish, good luck. It's gonna be a lot of work. The other change to our program this year is the Rapala Magnum Explode Poppers. We're absolutely loving these things. Again, super beefy hardware on them. They fish really well. They're easy to make pop without a big motion. And we've been catching fish up to 100, 120 pounds on these. The only problem is, is they're so small, you gotta get a real heavy leader because more times than not, those bigger fish, the 60s, the 80s, the 100s, they're inhaling this whole lure. They love eating it, but you run into a problem with them biting you off. So we've upgraded on most of our casting stuff. We used to run a 60 pound Seaguar Premier leader, very, very short shot, three, four feet is all we're using. Now we're fishing 80 pound and sometimes even 100 pound on my heavy uh, casting setups. This stuff is awesome. It gives you abrasion resistance. You know, the invisibility is not really the issue here. It's the strength and the toughness and this Seaguar Premier definitely delivers there. For the bigger fish this year, we partnered with California Flyer. I've always fished the California Flyer since it came out. I really love the lure, but I've had a lot of instances this year where those fish are so full that they're just blowing up on a bait because it's pissing them off, because they don't like it, and you're getting multiple bites, but these fish are not committing to it and really sticking. So we've had that happen in the past when we use the dead flyers and you go through a lot of flyers. And the other problem is, is if you get blown up on and the fish doesn't stick, you're out of business. You gotta bring that kite in as fast as you can. You gotta pin on another bait. You gotta send it back out and get bit again. That is the number one reason that I am pulling this out first. The California flyer, the other day we had 13 blowups on this thing before a fish stuck to it and we got our fish. So it will allow you to take advantage of the rebite. And this thing works every bit as good as the dead stuff, especially when you're moving it. They will bite it laying on the surface, but I found it's most effective at two or three knots. And unlike a dead bait where I'm usually running it kind of flat and kicking up a bunch of action with the wings, with this guy and the way that it's rigged and mounted, he's already tail heavy. So all I'm trying to keep in the water is the tail. And I've just got this thing skittering along with the tail sticking out, it's driving the fish nuts. This has really become our go-to lure. The rigging is great, the hooks are great. Again, don't need to do anything but take it out of the package, rubber band your hook rig on, clip it onto your bait line, and you're ready to go. That's what's working for us. If you're using other techniques, man, I'm all ears. I wanna learn from you as much as I hope you learn from me. So leave us a comment below, let us know what's working for you, and let us know what other content you wanna see from us. Thanks so much for watching.